Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to calculate this integral. If given integral is any one of these three forms, the procedure is same. First, you identify this integral is of which form. You can observe here 1 divided by is not there. So, this integral is of this form integral of square root of ax square plus bx plus c. If given integral is any one of these three forms, the procedure is same. What is that procedure? First, we will consider the expression ax square plus bx plus c. Here, what is that expression? That expression is 1 minus 4x minus x square. Here, to confuse you, they are not given a right order. What is the right order? First x square term, next x term, next constant term. Okay, first I written x square term, next I written x term, next I written constant term. Now it looks like ax square plus bx plus c. After considering the expression ax square plus bx plus c, you check that x square coefficient is 1 or not. If x square coefficient is not 1, we make x square coefficient 1 by taking that number common. In this problem, what is x square coefficient? x square coefficient is minus 1. So, we should make x square coefficient 1 by taking minus common. So, you take minus common. If you take minus common, what you will get? As we are taking minus common, this will become plus x square plus. Why? Because we are taking minus common and this plus will become minus. Okay. Now you can check that x square coefficient is 1. That equal to minus of. Now my main intention is I want to write x square plus 4x minus 1 in any one of these forms. a square minus x square, a square plus x square or x square minus a square. I want to write x square plus 4x minus 1 into any one of these forms. To write this expression into any one of these forms, we have one standard procedure that will follow for every problem of this type. First, you start with the brackets, write x, it is always fixed and close the bracket. You write square here, this is also always fixed and you write minus here, this is always fixed. Now, you observe this, after x square, what sign is there? Same sign you write here. Here, after x square plus sign is there, so we will write plus here. After x square, if minus sign is there, we will write minus here, okay? Now, you need to find a number here. To find that number, we have a trick. You always keep 2x in your mind. 2x into some number. You need to find that number. 2x into some number will give you 4x. It's simple to identify. 2x into what number will give you 4x? That is 2. Yes. So 2 you write here. Minus always a square of this number. Always square of this number. What is 2 square? 2 square is 4. What happened here? If I expand this expression, then I'll get x square plus 4x. If you want, you can check here. x plus 2 whole square minus 4. Expand this. What you will get? x square plus 4 plus 4x minus 4. Here plus 4 minus 4 will get cancelled. What you will get? x square plus 4x only. So, in place of x square plus 4x, I can write this expression, okay? Now, what is remaining here? The remaining one is minus 1. That minus 1 I will write here. I hope you are understanding. That equal to minus of x plus 2 whole square minus 4 minus 1. Minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5. So, to avoid the confusion, whatever the expression is there here, this expression I will multiply with minus. When I multiply this expression with minus, then what happens? This minus of minus will become plus. 5 can be written as root 5 whole square minus what you will get this equal to x plus 2 whole square. So finally, what we came to know, we came to know that 1 minus 4x minus x square, we can write it as root 5 whole square minus x plus 2 whole square. Now, in this integral, in place of 1 minus 4x minus x square, I can write this expression. Yes, start writing that equal to integral of square root of. In place of 1 minus 4x minus x square, what I can write? I can write that root 5 whole square minus x plus 2 whole square dx. Okay. Now, 
if you observe this integral this integral looks like of this uh, formula form what is that integral of root over a square minus x square dx this formula we learned in previous classes we did the proof also what is that formula x by 2 into root over a square minus x square plus a square by 2 into sin inverse of x by a plus c this is the formula actual point is i need to integrate this actually we can integrate this by using substitution method but if i do this problem by substitution method here it creates unnecessary confusion the main point is we can write this answer directly by observing this formula how to write you observe here a square in place of a square root 5 whole square is there x square in place of x x plus 2 is there so how to write this answer directly in this formula wherever x is there there you write x plus 2 wherever a is there there you write root 5 that's it very simple yes just apply the formula x by 2 in place of x what we will write x plus 2 x plus 2 divided by 2 into root over a square minus x square a square means root 5 whole square minus x square in place of x x plus 2 is there x plus 2 whole square plus a square by 2 what is a square a square is root 5 whole square by 2 into sine inverse of x by a in place of x we will write x plus 2 divided by a what is a a is root 5 plus c we can simplify this uh, we can write it as x plus 2 divided by 2 into root over see root 5 whole square minus x plus 2 whole square you observe here root 5 whole square minus of x plus 2 whole square we can write it as 1 minus 4x minus x square plus root 5 whole square is 5 5 by 2 into sine inverse of x plus 2 divided by root 5 plus c that's it actually these problems are very easy only the thing is little bit of practice is needed if you practice four to five problems continuously then you only say that these problems are very easy